Hello students. So in the previous class we were talking about that of the isotopes. What are isotopes, students? Isotopes are those elements which is having the same atomic number but different mass number. That is isotopes. Okay. So we can write it again. So isotopes. are the elements which is having same atomic number but different mass Number. Okay, it is having the same atomic number or different mass number that we call as isotope. It means students the number of electron and proton is same, but it varies from the number of neutrons. We have discussed an example also. Let me uh, write the example and then we will understand it again uh, properly. And that is of hydrogen. If you see hydrogen students, so basically in hydrogen it exists in three forms in nature: hydrogen, deuterium, and tritium. So hydrogen, if you see the atomic number, all the three is having the same atomic number, and that is three. And that is one. Sorry, that is one. All of them are having the same atomic number, and that is. One. Now it varies only with that of the mass number. So we can say the mass number of this hydrogen is one students. Mass number of deuterium is two, and mass number of that of the tritium is three. So mass number of hydrogen is one, that of the deuterium is two, and here that is three. So you can understand it that here all the three it varies. That of the number of neutron. How you can see here? Here number of proton that will be equal to the atomic number. So number of proton is equal to one, and number of neutron will be equal to one. Is equal to zero. Why zero student? Because you see here the mass number is one. An atomic number is one, so you can understand it. Atomic number is equal to number of proton. Mass number is equal to number of proton and neutron. So number of neutron, if it will be zero, then only the mass number will be one. Let me show you with the formula. So we know that student atomic number is equal to number of proton right so atomic number is equal to number of proton and mass number is equal to number of proton plus number of neutron right number of proton and number of neutron so you can see here so if we are saying that atomic number of this hydrogen is 1 so the atomic number of hydrogen that will be also equals to 1 okay so here what is this this is the number of proton now we have to find the mass number so you see mass number is 1 so mass number is 1 i am writing here you can see mass number is equals to 1 It means the number of proton students plus number of neutrons. So you can see here number of proton. We are seeing number of proton is one. So we will write here one plus number of neutron. The number of neutron must be zero. Only then we will uh, only then we will get the mass number one. Now you see here students by this we can find the number of neutron also. You see. Mass number is one, so mass number is one. Atomic number, that is number of proton, is one, and by this we can find the number of neutron. So here you can see number of neutron will be equals to one minus one. 
that will be equals to number of neutron. So one minus one will be z. So what will be the number of neutron present in that of the hydrogen? It will be z. So we can draw the the configuration, the atomic diagram of this one. So atomic diagram of this hydrogen it will be. So you see, yes, this is the K shell, and you know that the atomic number is one. It means number of proton as well as number of electron will be one. So only K shell, only one electron will be there, right? What happened in case of the nucleus? Let me draw the nucleus. In case of the nucleus, you see how many protons are there? That is one. So we will write here one plus. And how many neutrons are there? That will be equal to zero. So zero neutron will be present. So here it is zero neutron. So zero plus one that will be equal to one. So mass number is also one. Now if you see the next one. And that is of a deuterium. So in case of a deuterium students, the number of proton is equal to the atomic number. So atomic number is equal to one. So number of proton will also be equal to one. Okay. And here you can see it is two. Mass number is two. So what will be the number of neutrons? So we can apply the formula of finding that of the number of neutron. So you can see here students, the formula is already given. See, this is what this is the mass number. Okay, and we have to find the number of neutrons. So you see here students, mass number is two. Here you can see mass number is two. That will be equal to number of proton. Number of proton is equal to atomic number. Atomic number is one here. So here it will be one plus number of neutron. So number of neutron will be equal to now that will be equal to two minus one. That will be equal to number of neutron. So two minus one. It means that will be equal to one. So number of neutron it will be one. So we can say number of neutron is one and number of neutron is one. And that is why students, we when we add both of them, we will get the mass number because number of proton plus number of neutron, both of them when we will add both of them, we will get the number of uh, we will get the mass number. Okay. So one plus one two, so that will be equal to the mass number. So what will be the atomic diagram? So I'm drawing the atomic diagram of this one is here. So you see here, student, if this is the nucleus and this is the K shell. If this is the K shell. And here, how many electrons will be present? And that is one. Why is it so? Because still the atomic number is one, so number of electron will be present in this shell will be one. Now, how many number of neutrons will be there, students? So you can see number of proton is one, so one plus will be there. One plus because the atomic number is one here. How many number of neutron will be there? That will be also equals to one. So one proton and one neutron will be there, and due to which the overall mass number will be equals to two. Okay. Now if we find that of the tritium. In the tritium case, students, it's a kind of a radioisotope. So here, what will be the number of proton? Again, the number of proton will be equals to the atomic number, and atomic number is one here. So number of proton will be one. Okay. Now we have to find the mass number. So you know that. Mass number is equals to is equals to atomic number plus number of neutrons. Okay, so it will be equals to a minus j is equal to number of neutrons. So what is the a? A is the mass number. What is the mass number here, students? That is three. So we will write here three minus. What is the atomic number? That we will represent it by z. So that will be equal to one. Is equal to 
number of neutron. So three minus one that will be equal to two is equal to number of neutrons. Okay. So what will be the number of neutron here? It will be two. Okay. Now what do we do? We will try to make the atomic diagram of tritium. So atomic diagram will be of tritium students. So you can see here. This is the that of the one proton will be there and two neutron will be there and this is the the shell. Which consisting of a one electron in it because still the atomic number is one. So this will be the atomic diagram of all the three isotopes. Now what you are seeing, student, you can see the number of proton in all the cases is one, and you know that number of proton is equal to atomic number. So atomic number of all the elements is same, and that is one. But the mass number you can see. Because of the number of neutron, uh, neutrons, uh, that is zero, one, two. Only the number of neutron it varies, and that is why it means the mass number also to vary. So we can say that isotopes are the uh, isotopes of the element is in which the number of neutrons differ from each other. You can define that also, or you can say which is having the same atomic number but different mass number. Or differ from each other by the number of neutrons. So basically, the number of electron, number of protons, they are similar, but it varies from number of neutrons. Let me see some of the more examples on that of the isotopes. Then we will discuss the the properties. So you see, you student, although there are lot of isotopes, we will discuss the next one, and that is isotope of carbon. Now you see here in case of an isotope of carbon. Now you see the isotope of that of the carbon system. So basically, carbon can exist in three forms in the nature. That is carbon twelve, carbon thirteen, and carbon fourteen. And all of them are having the same atomic number. Okay, students. So you see here, the atomic number of carbon is six, and that of the mass number here, you can see one is of thirteen. So carbon twelve can exist in nature. Carbon thirteen can exist, although the amount of the carbon thirteen is very less. And carbon fourteen, which is also known as the radioisotope, is also present in the nature. So you can see here, students. The one thing which is common here is that of the atomic number. So on that basis, we can find the number of neutrons. So number of protons are that of the number of neutron. So number of proton and number of neutron. So you see, here, student, how many number of proton is there? So number of proton we can determine with the help of the atomic number. So atomic number is six here. So we can say the number of proton will also be equals to six. So here the number of proton is six, and the number of neutron is again student mass number is given here, atomic number is given here. We know the formula that is A minus J is equal to number of neutron. So A is that of the uh, mass number that is twelve minus J is the atomic number that is equal to six is equal to number of neutron. So number of neutron will be equals to six. So here number of neutron will be equals to six. Now if we have to draw the atomic diagram of this carbon, so how we will make it? Basically, student, the atomic diagram of the carbon it will be equals to. Let me draw it here. At first, we will try to find the number of proton and neutron. Then we will draw the atomic diagram. First of all, we will understand the, uh, the number of proton and neutron. So you see, here, students, the number of proton here is six and six. Now, if you move to the next uh, isotope, 
So you see, in the next isotope, the number of proton in case of this one, where 13 and 6 is there, so number of proton again that is same, so we will write here 6. And number of neutrons, so again here A minus J is equal to number of neutron. So A is 13 minus 6 is equal to number of neutron. So that can be equal to 7 is equal to number of neutron. Okay students, so number of neutron in this case will be 7. And in the next case also you see there is a difference in that of the mass and the atomic number. So you can see the atomic number remains the same that is 6. There will be no change in the atomic number that is the number of proton. But if we have to find the mass number, so atomic mass number minus, if we have to find the mass number from which we will find the number of neutron. So number of neutron, we will subtract it with that of the mass, with that of the atomic number, we will get the number of neutron. So 14 minus 6 that will be equal to 8. So 8 number of neutron will be present here. Okay. So here you can see that the number of proton in all the cases, whether it is a carbon 12, carbon 13 and carbon 14, it remains the same and that is 6. So number of proton is 6. And if the number of proton is 6 to which means number of electron will be the same. Now, what is the difference between all the three? That is the number of neutron. So here, number of neutron is 6. Here, in carbon 30, number of neutron is 7. And in case of carbon 40, number of neutron is 8. Okay. Now, we will try to draw the atomic diagram of these three isotopes. So what will be the atomic diagram students? So you see here, in case of a carbon, it, this is the nucleus. So this one will be the K shell and this one will be the L shell. We will take this one also like that students. This is the nucleus. Now if you take this one as a K shell, then absolutely this one will be the L shell. Here also, if this is the nucleus, so this one we will take it as a K shell and this one we will take it as a L shell. Okay, so K shell and L shell. Now you see here students, which this is the K shell, this is the L shell, this is the K and the L shell, K shell and that one. Now, the number of electron which is present in that of the, uh, in this uh, atom is 6 and how they have divided the student? That is 6, so it will be 2 and 4. So, 2 electrons will be present here, 1 and 2. And 4 electrons will be present. Okay, so number of electron in all the cases will be the same. Because it is the 6, so there will be no change in the number of electron. Here also 6, so number of electron will be present at the 2, and the pressure is 2, then the rest of the 4 electron will enter into that of the L shell. Okay, students, so, so this is the K shell, and this one is the L shell consisting of 2 and 4 uh, number of electrons. Now we will see the number of proton. So in this case of student, since the atomic number is 6, so number of proton will be 6. So we can write it consisting of a 6 proton. And number of neutron, you know that 12 minus 6, it will give the 6 number of neutron. So number of neutron will also be equal to 6. So 6 number of proton, 6 number of neutron will be there and 6 number of electron. Okay. What happened in case of a carbon 30? Here again the atomic number is 6, so 6 number of proton will be there. But 13 minus 6 will give the 7, so we will say that 7 number of neutron will be present here. Okay, so 6 number of proton and 7 number of neutron will be there. Now here 6 is there, that is the atomic number, so we will say the atomic number will be the 6 proton. 
So here it will be six proton consisting of a six proton in it. Our number of neutron will be equal to fourteen minus six, and that is eight. So it will consisting of an eight neutron. So you see here, student, in all these three cases, number of proton remains the same, but number of neutron it varies. Okay. So these are the isotope of carbon. Let me discuss one more and then we will move on. Although you students, let me tell you that isotope of oxygen is there, isotope of other atoms is there. We will discuss an another type of an isotope and that is of a chlorine. So you see, student, chlorine can exist in two forms. One, the atomic number is seventeen here. One is thirty-five, and another is thirty-seven. So chlorine can exist in two isotopic forms, and that is chlorine thirty-five and chlorine thirty-seven. Okay. So by the help of this, again we will find the number of proton, number of neutron. So you see, dear student. Number of proton in case of a chlorine is equal to the atomic number, and since the atomic number is seventeen, so we will write here number of proton is seventeen. Now, what will be the mass number? Mass number is thirty-five. So, how will you find the number of neutron? Obviously, we will subtract the mass number by the number of uh, the by that of the atomic number. So, thirty-five. Minus seventeen, it will give us eighteen neutron. Eighteen number of neutron. Okay. Now eighteen number of neutron is there, and seventeen number of proton is there. In this case, in which the chlorine having mass number thirty five. Now chlorine, which is having the mass number thirty seven, again student, there will be no change in the number of proton. Atomic number remains the same. So the number of proton will be seventeen. What about the number of neutron students? So you see here, mass number minus that of the atomic number. So what you will get? You will get twenty. So number of neutron it will be twenty. So number of proton in both the cases is seventeen, and number of neutron in both the cases is different. That is one is eighteen, and the other one is twenty. Now on that basis, students, we can. I hope you have understood up to here. That is the number of proton seventy. Number of neutron is eighty. So we can see the diagram. If we draw the diagram of the chlorine students. So you see here, students, chlorine. If you see the atomic configuration, seventeen atomic number. So it will be K. L M that is two A and C. So we have to draw the three shells that is K shell, L shell, and M shell. So in case of a chlorine student, if this is the nucleus of that of the chlorine, so this one will be the K shell. This one will be the L shell, and this one will be the M shell. Okay, the same thing we can do here also. Here, if this is the nucleus, so this one will be the K shell. This one will be the L shell. And this one will be the M shell. Okay, students. So here K L M. You are also the same. That is K L and M. So how many number of electrons are there? That is seventeen. So first two electrons will enter into that of the K shell. So here it will be two. 
Then next eight electron will enter into that of the LCL. So one, two, then three, then four, then five, six, seven, and eight. And the rest of the seven electron will enter into that of the LCL. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so these are the different electrons which is present in that of the shells of the chlorine. Now, how many number of proton and neutron will be there, student? So you can see here, seventy protons are present. Seventy number of proton is present. Let me draw the letters in a big size so that you can understand. So. So seventeen proton is there, and how many neutrons is there? And that is eighteen neutrons. Okay, so seventeen number of proton is there, student, and eighteen number of neutron is present in that of the nucleus. Now, if we see in case of that of the chlorine, so in case of the chlorine, students, you can see the chlorine is having the atomic number seventeen. So again, we will divide the Two is there. That is indication. Then rest of the shells, the rest of the electrons will be present in that of the L shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight electrons will be present in that of the L shell, and seven electrons. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and the rest of the seven electron will enter into that of the L shell. Now, if we discuss about that of the nucleus, so again I have to draw the nucleus in a bigger size. So, in case of the nucleus, students. In case of a nucleus, students, I am drawing the nucleus in this one side so that you can understand the number of proton and that of the neutron. So number of proton it will be seventy again. You see here the number of proton is seventy. But what about the number of neutron, students? The number of neutron is twenty. So we can say the number of neutron is twenty. So in both the cases, you see here, students, here both of them is having the same number of electron. Same number of proton, but one is having eighteen number of neutron and another is having the twenty number of neutron. So both of them they can differ only by the amount of the neutron present in them. So it is because of the number of neutrons, the mass number varies of the same atomic number or of the same type of a element. Because this one is also chlorine and this one is also chlorine. So obviously both of them are the same element. So they are common. They are same. But since the number of neutron it varies in both the cases, so we can say the number of neutron may even differ from each other, and that is why we call it that having the same atomic number or different mass number. Now you see. So there are a lot of example of that from the isotopes to this. So. We have discussed few of them and how the number of neutron varies with them. So we can see the examples of that of the isotopes. That is, isotope one is of hydrogen. So it can exist in nature in three forms. That is, isotope of one, isotope of two, and isotope of three. Three. Okay. So one, two, and three. Then, if you see the second one, and that is of the carbon. So in case of a carbon, it also exists in three form: carbon six, carbon twelve, carbon thirteen, and the carbon fourteen. Not only this is true, but if you see the chlorine, so we have seen the chlorine can exist in two form, and that is chlorine. Thirty-five and chlorine thirty-seven. Both of them are having the same atomic number, that is seventy. 
Then, if you see the next one, that is phosphorus. So, phosphorus also exists in a I which is also having the isotope phosphorus 31 is there, 15 and phosphorus 15, 32 is also there. Then oxygen students, you see in case of a oxygen also, oxygen exists in nature in the form of 16 and oxygen 18. Okay, so its, it's atomic number is 8. Okay, so oxygen 16 is also there and oxygen uh, 18 is also present in that of the uh, nature. So there are a lot of uh, isotopes to this by this we can see that uh, the, they all are having the same atomic number but different mass number. So in the next class we will discuss about that what are the different properties of the isotope and uh, what are the different applications of the isotopes as well as isobars. Okay.